What's going on guys? It's your boy Andy Matrix. I'm back with another video. And um so this is actually more proof that the DVD business is dying. Okay, so a little recap about entertainment history. So cassettes, right? We had cassettes from, you know, for decades from the I believe the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And then in the late 90s we were starting to get disc, you know, DVD disc in the 2000s, you know, it was becoming more and more popular, you know, more and more people had DVD players. And then towards the late, towards the mid to late 2000s, we had Blu-ray DVD. And the PlayStation 3 had, you know, required a Blu-ray disc, right? It's a pretty big deal. Um, and then the DVD, you know, in the early 2000s, the DVD basically replaced the, you know, the, the cassettes, the, you know, those big bulky cassettes. And... Uh, Video streaming has replaced DVD disc. <laughs> Nef the same way that Netflix basically made Blockbuster go out of business. You know, Blockbuster went out of business because Netflix became a thing. Millions of people signed up for Netflix and, you know, because it's, it is a rental. At the end of the day, it is a rental. You're going to rent the DVD for a few days or maybe a week. You're going to watch the movie a couple of times and then, you know, Send it back to to the business, and um, it looks like Redbox, which is which was one of the last, the last, one of the last few DVD rental businesses out there that existed, is now going out of business, right? So this is basically you know the last blockbuster type of business. It really it was really like a blockbuster on the go. I've actually rented a couple of um, movies from Redbox back in the day, and I thought it was a pretty cool business, you know. And of course, they charge you late fees if um if, if you don't return the the movies on time, right? So yeah, it's it's, it's actually going out of business. So let's go ahead and read a little bit here. Okay, guys. Before we continue, I do want to let you guys know that I have a sticker store, right? I have a an Andy Matrix sticker store. So I made these myself. You know, I've been drawing a lot. I've been sharpening up my art skills, and I've been you know making making my own stickers. And basically to sell it to you guys, I don't really, I don't have a Patreon. I don't really make a lot of money on YouTube. However, if you ever wanted to support your boy, Andy Matrix, this is the way. So go ahead and buy your, you know, buy yourself a sticker. Uh, they go from three inches to five inches. And uh, yeah, you can put them in your car, on your computers, whatever you want. Yeah. We got Tifa. We got Aang. Last, last year, Banda, we got Nami. We got the Dark Magician Girl. And I'm going to be adding more and more, you know, every month. And, um, yeah, go ahead and get yourself a sticker and let's uh, continue on with the video. So variety.com, it says RIP Redbox DVD kiosk rental business is shutting down with parents, uh, ban bankruptcy liquidation, chicken soup for the soul entertainment. I had absolutely no idea that chicken soup for the soul own Redbox. So if you guys don't remember chicken soup for the soul, uh, was like a it was like a publishing company that they published these books right there were these books called chicken soup for the soul and they were like a they were like christian books i think it was like chicken soup for the soul chicken soup for teens chicken soup for older people it was just like a bunch of short stories i've never read any of those books because i was like Ugh, like this doesn't really look interesting <laughs> It didn't have any anime pictures on it back in the day, so <laughs> I had no interest in reading those books. But uh, a Christian publisher only Redbox. I mean, mm, hey, not sure how um, you know how the, you know what what made them th that decision. But basically, uh, one thousand plus employees have been you know fought, have been laid off and unpaid. By the way. And basically, it says Redbox net network of 24,000 DVD rental kiosks and its streaming service will be shut down after its after its parent company, Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment, converts its Chapter 11 bankruptcy case to Chapter 7 liquidation proceeding on Wednesday. Uh, so, uh, Chapter 11 bankruptcy. I'm not exactly sure uh, what kind of bankruptcy is that, but apparently, it's like you know, it, it, it's like. I guess you you're not really going bankrupt to my understanding. You're still have you have a, like a lot of debt, but you're not really going bankrupt. You're just filing. And then I guess chapter 7 would be like, you know, like the real bankruptcy. I'm not sure. I I don't I don't know the name of these bankruptcies. If you guys have 
you know more knowledge about that please comment below and let me let, let me know because chapter 11 chapter 7 bankruptcies i do not understand that terminology so i gotta educate, educate myself on that just being honest with you guys but anyways 24,000, you know, rental locations of uh, Redbox are shutting down. I, as I actually didn't know that they had a video streaming service, which I'm pretty sure you still had to pay for that too, right? Uh, so this was back in the two. This was back in the 2000s, you know, in the late 2000s, early 2010s, when there was, you know, the, you know, uh, video rentals was was huge and and. Uh, yeah, it's just, I, I, you know, who, who rents DVDs anymore? Who rents DVDs anymore? Because instead of renting a physical DVD, which I don't know too many people that have DVD players anymore. I haven't owned a DVD player in a long time. Uh, I go to my friend's house. I don't see anybody with a DVD player, except maybe the ones that are under, you know, desktop computers. But DVD players are dead. And not only is Best Buy, you know, getting out of the DVD business, but also, you know, Redbox is shutting down. And now you have Xbox going full digital. PlayStation, they said they're 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 trying to go full digital. You know, they basically lost the you know, you know the the console war. Nintendo won by default. So there's just a lot of signs, right? There's a lot of signs in the air just indicating that hey, this is going to happen. In the future, you're not going to be, you know, buying DVDs, probably. And if you do buy DVDs, it's basically going to be like retro, you know, just retro items, retro stuff. And it's just going to be just for as, as a collection type of thing, you know, kind of like how we collect, you know, those those old, you know, record players, those old, those huge disc, those record discs, those old record players, right? Nobody collects those anymore. I mean, excuse me, uh, nobody uses those anymore, but we collect them just to have them because they, you know, they remind us of the good old days and that, that's what this is going to be. So this is just another sign. Uh, so my recommendation now, I will admit, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I understand that having a DVD is better, but I've always been, I guess I'm not so materialistic. I, I'm very like mobile. Uh, I actually am okay with not having DVDs. Uh, that sounds crazy. I get it. But because I'm just the type of guy, I'm very portable. I like portable devices, so I'm, I'm absolutely okay with not having the physical stuff. That's just me. But for you guys, I know a lot of you guys are basically, you know, for physical media. I support that. And I said, whatever anime movie you want, start buying them now, man. Because within the next, like, five years, the DVD business is just going to disappear. I saw the cassette business disappear. I, you know, in, in the early 2000s, everything switched over to DVDs. I, I've been there. Look, uh, I'm a millennial in my 30s. I, I sound like a freaking old man, you know, t um, telling the young kids, oh, this is how it was back in my day, kids. But for real, whatever DVDs you, whatever anime movies you like, collect the DVDs now because they're probably not going to have them in the future. And me, for example, I got The Matrix, my favorite movie on DVD. So, yeah. Um, anyways, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Man, it's, you know, it's, it's, I, I feel old. I, I feel, you know, it's like we're literally watching the world change right before our eyes. The cassettes, I grew up with cassettes, and now cassettes, nobody uses that shit. I grew up with DVDs. Now, pretty soon in the next few years, nobody's going to be using DVDs. Everything's going to be switching over to digital. And it, it's, I I don't like the idea of an all digital future. I believe we need to have options, but um, it looks almost like it's inevitable. So yeah, here we go. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. Guys, it's your boy, Andy Matrix. Godspeed, baby.